Hey, good morning everybody. I just wanted to do a quick how-to video on pruning your zucchini. Got some great big zucchini plants here. When I plant mine, I just kind of do hills of two or three seeds and I don't thin them out. I just let them grow. But whether you do it that way or you actually thin them out and have one single plant, zucchini can benefit a lot from some pruning. I know pruning squash, <laughs> almost falling over here, uh, pruning squash is not something that people normally think about. But there's two main benefits that can uh, that come from pruning your zucchini. Uh, the first is when they get tons of leaves like this and get really full, less airflow, just like tomatoes, uh, gets through the plants. When you have less airflow, then you can get things like a fungus or most um, particularly for your squash plants, things that you can run into is like powdery mildew, which as moisture builds up in here and there's not enough air coming through, you can get the powdery mildew problem, which are white splotchy things that will eventually, you know, it's a fungus that will kill off your plant. So by trimming back the leaves, it allows more airflow to come through and reduces your chances of the powdery mildew. Second benefit that can help is that you see how this is right now. You don't see any flowers in there uh, because they're all hidden. Actually, this one, uh, it's got a little one in there, a couple of them. Um, but the flowers are hidden, and sometimes that can make it difficult for pollinators to get and actually see the flowers to get in there if they're all completely buried under the leaves. And then what you run into if your flowers aren't pollinated uh, either the flowers will just drop off or what some people see is your, your flower will, will be there and then the squash will start to form, but then it'll turn all yellow and just kind of rot and die off. That is due to not having proper pollination. So by trimming back some of the leaves gives your flowers more um, visibility, I guess is what you'd say, to the pollinators to hopefully get more of them attracted in there to do the pollination business. There's two different kinds of flowers that come in on the squash, the male and the female, and the male will just be on a stem, like it won't be connected to any fruit or, you know, like a, a squash bulb on the bottom. And those will, normally they come in first and they then will just drop off and die. Then the female flowers come in and at the bottom of the female flower you'll see uh, the little squash bulb and once I trim some of these leaves back I'll kind of show you what that looks like. I don't know if I've got any male flowers in here um, but I do have some female with the uh, squash forming on it. So let's get to doing a little bit of pruning. And I'm just using a pair of scissors. You can use garden shears uh, just something or even a, like a sharp knife. Uh, and you still want to leave you know, a good amount of leaves because the plant needs that for the whole photosynthesis thing. Um, but we'll take some of these big ones out of here to open it up a little bit. And you don't have to be, you know, super particular about like exactly where you're cutting it off. Just kind of down towards the base and just trim it off. So you got this big guy right here. I'm gonna take him out. See now that the, uh, some of the leaves are cut out of there, now there's plenty of visibility for that flower in there. And that's a female. So right here we have a good example of a female flower that's in there. Uh, generally the, the female flower is going to have a short stem and the three parts that 
uh, are collectively that called the, there's three parts that are collectively called the pistil. If you look inside there at the female flower, uh, you'll see the stigma, um, and that's where the male pollen uh, gets deposited. Now right here, and hopefully it comes up okay on the camera, is a male flower. Uh, unfortunately, it's not open right now, so you can't see what the interior looks like, but you'll notice there at the base of it, it's just connected onto a stem. There's no, uh, you know, miniature zucchini uh, coming off the end of it. Right here, we have a zucchini starting to form, and you'll see that the flower is still kind of attached to it, but that's the way the female will look uh, with the zucchini attached to it, although it's, um, you know, the, the zucchini is already growing now, so it's larger, but you'll see a little tiny one of those coming off of a female flower. So hopefully that little video gave you uh, some ideas on how to prune back your zucchini. Now I got some stuff to go put in the compost pile. Um, but, and you can do this, you know, throughout the season because more leaves will keep coming on. And now that I've got mine trimmed back, it's opened up more sun for the dill that I've got along the edges here. And also I have a couple of sunflowers in here that were kind of being shaded out. So it's going to help the plants surrounding it as well. So anyway, there you go, pruning zucchini. Hope you're having a great day in your garden. Hope to see you soon. Please subscribe to our channel and uh, we'll catch you next time. Namaste.